Francisco García, de Sacramento King, si tú estás viendo, tiro a blanco en deporte. Francisco, I'm a baseball guy and spring training is right around the corner. When I was doing my research on you, man, I heard you was a big baseball guy back in the days. Is that, is that true? And um, do you still follow the game? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, my team is um, Boston Red Sox, so, you know, um, I'm a big baseball fan, yeah. Okay, now you realize when you're saying the Boston Red Sox in New York, you probably just offended almost all of the Latin Yankee fans by saying that. How long have you been a Boston Red Sox fan for? Uh, you know, um, for a long time. I mean, tell you the truth, uh, my boy is um, Robinson Cano. So, um, you know, it's, um, I always talk to him about it. And, um, he know that, um, he know that I always pull for him every time the Yankees play anyway. So... You know, it's not really, I'm not really into the bribery Yankees in Boston. I just, that's just my team. Captain of the Sacramento Kings, man. Uh, I understand that you have the nickname, they nicknamed you Flacco. Now, I'm a, like I said, being a baseball guy, hearing the word Flacco, everybody in the NBA is Flacco, man. So how did you get that nickname? Well, you know, um, back in the days, my friends here, uh, they uh, call me Skinny. That means Flacco in Spanish, so everybody, um, when we came here, my first, my first, my rookie year, there was a lot of Dominican people like on the stands and used to scream Flaco, Flaco. So everybody started calling me Flaco. I understand that uh, you you represented team um, Dominican team out in Puerto Rico. What was that like for you? That experience being out in Puerto Rico. You have any interesting stories being out there? Yeah, it was it was good. It was fun, and um, it's always good to represent my country and um, put them on top. Do you think that the NBA should be paying more attention to the Caribbean in terms of basketball? Yeah, I think we have a lot, a lot, a lot of talent, you know, and uh, we should be able to, um, the, in the years to come, to get some more uh, NBA players in. It's my last question, man, and uh, like I said, I was doing, um, doing my, my, uh, my research on you, and I understand that if, there was, if they were ever to play your, your role in a movie, if someone was to play you in a movie, you would, want, you would want that person to be Al Pacino. Now, I'm looking at you, brother. You're a real young brother right now, man. Why would you want Al Pacino to play you right now? Uh, you know, um, I just, I love his, you know, his passion every time he do a movie, and uh, he's one of, he's my favorite um, actor, so, you know, it'll be fun. All right, and you know what, I, I know I said the last one, but I know that you're a big charity guy, and you're one of the most giving athletes in Sacramento. Can you tell me what is, which is your favorite charity that you're most proud to be a part of? Um, well, you know, the, the last thing I did over there was, um, you know, uh, for Thanksgiving and um, Christmas, I just um, give, went to the church and gave uh, baskets to 50 families. So uh, it, was, it was fun. You know, it was really fun. Do you have a website or anything like that that you want to promote for this charity so that people know? Uh, no, you know what? I'm working on that right now, and uh, by the end of this, this year, we, uh, we're going to have it.